I just wanted to co do cool stuff, right? I just wanted to do cool stuff. And um, I think the best way to achieve that is to follow some basic instincts that tells you this is going to be important and this is cool. So these are the two things that should come together. So my name is Fabian. I'm the co-founder of iQuant, which is a neuroscience meets marketing startup. And we help designers build websites that communicate their benefits within the first few seconds. I grew up in southern Germany in a small town called Trebisch Hall to a German father and an Armenian mother. I decided to study cognitive science because it was so orthogonal to uh, where I came from. And I thought that it would be a very, uh, that neuroscience in general would be very important and will be very influential. You can cheat that decision a bit on what to do with your life if you study something like cognitive science. Um, because it enables you to dive right into computer science, philosophy of mind, linguistics, psychology, neurobiology, um, and uh, a lot of different fields that come together with like one big question, what is the mind, how does it work, how can we figure out how it works. For the first time I realized it's possible to just have an idea, start working on it, publish it, you have people using it, and this is something that might change the world. I went back to Europe and I decided to finish my studies. And this is how I met Peter and Johannes. Peter is a brilliant neuroscientist, and Johannes is a brilliant hacker, engineer. Johannes and Peter had been working on a very interesting project, uh, which was called the Good Gaze Project. The idea was to develop a technology that is able to predict where people look on images within a couple of seconds. And as I just came from a startup job in the States, I was very well aware of the looming attention crisis on the web. And knowing that we could predict these first few seconds using neuroscientific technology, it was absolutely clear that the application would be in website optimization. So we build a web-based software as a service, but people upload screenshots of their websites. So designers can upload screenshots while they're working on a design. And iQuant will, within a couple of seconds, provide them with results that you can usually only obtain from a proper empirical study. So for the first time, designers can use attention analytics technology to iteratively optimize a design. It's data-driven. So it's based on hundreds and hundreds of eye-tracking studies with actual subjects. We invited a lot of people into our lab and we showed them a lot of websites with different tasks. And while people looked at these websites, we recorded their eye movements. We tried to figure out what's special, statistically speaking, about um, the points that were most fixated on these websites. Right now we have a cool technology that predicts what people look at on websites. The next thing is to combine this data set with what actually happens afterwards with the visitor of the websites. And which of those guys did convert to a customer, which of them said no thank you. And ultimately, the vision is to have a web service where people go to, they upload a screenshot or they just give us a URL, and we're able to come up with optimization recommendations on an automatic basis. My role was always like to be firstly the guy who talks when you put a microphone in front of me and uh, to tell people about iQuant and to evangelize it and actually talking to customers, getting customers on board, getting customers to try it. I think the main driver is the ability to build something that people like and that people are willing to pay money for and um, being able to um, sustain yourself with something that you created from scratch. It's like this we made fire feeling. 